So I got asked to revisit the Jack Requiem kit for the cast off 762. And that's exactly what we're doing today. Obviously the Jack Requiem kit more or less turns the weapon into the AK-12 and removes all recoil on the weapon. And in fact, sometimes I struggle with the fact that it has no recoil because sometimes I find myself aiming at their toes, even though I started at their head. It's just kind of like, you know, muscle memory. I'm so used to controlling recoil that sometimes it's a little difficult to forget to just leave that right stick alone. Obviously, it's a very extremely easy weapon to use, and the build I have for you today is no slouch. It's definitely a very good weapon here in Modern Warfare 3. So, as I stated, the Jack Requiem kit more or less removes all recoil control. There's not much to cover here. You can see it in all the values, 100% to the vertical recoil control, 86% to the horizontal recoil control, and 50% to the gun kick. So, technically, there is some recoil, but... I, I, you know what? I'm just going to go to the firing range. Give me a second here. We're going to the firing range, and I'm going to show you, because I'm literally just going to hold it. I'm going to... Ready? I'm literally just gonna, I'm not touching it. It's right there, not touching it. In fact, the recoil went down. What more do I gotta show you? For my next attachment here, we have a rear grip with the true tag grip to increase the ADS and sprint to fire. Since we have no recoil, we really shouldn't worry about sacrificing any recoil control. It's gonna increase your ADS by 3% and sprint to fire speed by 16%. For your next attachment, since you can't run a barrel on this particular conversion kit, you're gonna need the high grain rounds to increase that bullet velocity and damage range by 15%. It's gonna bring your damage range to a nice 32 meters, along with bullet velocity 700 and 3.8 meters per second that being said it's a very good long range weapon obviously because it's got no freaking recoil so just up in the damage range made sense for the under barrel here i wanted to experiment with the xrk edge bw4 hand stop so people told me that this is better than the dr6 hand stop and let me explain why it's not in multiplayer you're gonna want a better ads and sprint to fire where the xrk or xrk edge is going to increase your mobility it's not going to increase your handling nearly as much. This is great for large maps where you can find yourself looping and sending your enemies for a chase. In situations in multiplayer where you're going to be kind of up close with them all the time, you're going to want to target more of that ADS and sprint to fire. I did use this for the gameplay, but truthfully, I would still recommend going with the DR6 hand stop here. And my final attachment is the Scratch 20L suppressor. So this is going to sacrifice aim down sight, but not really. It's 1%, nothing you're even going to notice. It's going to give you a suppressor, meaning you stay off of the mini map while also controlling visual shake on the weapon. Perfect attachment, in my opinion. You didn't need any recoil control, but there is a little bit of shake, and this does a very good job at controlling that. So here's going to be all the attachments on the screen. And as always, you guys can pause the video right now to copy all of these down. You get to use it and go to the firing range right away. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Take your finger off the right stick, aim at the wall. I promise you, it's got no recoil. Here's also the rest of the loadout on the screen that I need you guys to copy down if you also want to. Not need if you want to, I guess. Perks, lethals, tacticals. Make sure you guys hit the like button for me and the subscribe button. Hitting the like button will spread the video. Tell the YouTube algorithm, algorithm that new viewers should see this video and try out this AK-12 build. So hitting the like button, it's the easiest and most effective way to support the channel. Let's jump in to the gameplay where you guys can see what this thing's all about. We are using the AK-12 or the Jack Requiem kit for the cast off 762, which is not that. That was very much an STG. We're using the AK-12 though. Uh, so the last time I covered this, I was running the Jack Glassless Optic and as I was using it, I got, you know, comments saying, hey, why don't you use it with the iron sights? The iron sights are pretty clean. Personally, when I first used it, I wasn't a huge fan, personally. Personally, was actually a hater of these iron sights because it had such a big, like, blocky, I don't know how to explain it, those blocky parts on the end. If you remove that and literally just have the iron sights, I think I'm just a bigger fan. You know what I mean? I think it would make them much cleaner, but I'm not a game developer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if other people disagree. Obviously, people do disagree a little bit because they asked me to cover it with the iron sights. So if you guys are a fan of the iron sights, make sure you guys go down in the comment section and let me know. We just shot a couple in the back. They're going to be looking for me. There's one of them. There's two of them. Already got a beat soul. We have been in it, man. We are getting mixy, but my team's doing a little bit of the stompage. Would be bueno if I had... A UAV, which I now have an advance, so that should help. 
We're gonna stay on the aggression here. I do need them to kinda play the objective a bit, but I'm kinda stomping so hard they can't kinda get near it. All right. That's not good. All right. I'm, may I'm playing it the right way. Bring that ass here. Oh, we gotta go there. I believe that. Oh, nope. This guy's. All right. Come up through here. Listen, if you're gonna line up for me, I'm gonna take advantage of that. That's a fact. That's a fact. I literally need one kill. Don't. Okay, I was about to say. I was about to say. You guys are edging me a little bit. If this pace keeps up the way it is, it's definitely gonna be a, a TDM style, like a second gameplay thing. The pace is uh, awesome. Like the pace feels awesome. We're fast paced. We're in the mix. That's all bueno. But at the same time, if it's gonna be too quick, no point, you know? So we already got our MGB. We're being ultra aggressive on the map. Oh, my team is just wiping the floor. Quite simply. Quite simply just wiping the floor. Tell you what, I'm hitting my shots right now. Kind of costed your teammate. That's my bad. VTOL's back in. We'll let him have it. There was another guy there. Am I going to get bad timing? Doesn't appear so. Slip the net. Jesus, what the hell was that? Oh, it was the tear. That makes a whole lot of sense. jump scares he just executed my teammate right next to me i wasn't even paying attention to it speaking of execution can i nope i was gonna try yeah what what did you do there what were you trying to prove what were you trying to prove buddy Hold on. This could be an execution. Let's see. Can I get him? Stop running! Damn it. I wanted it so bad, man. I want it so bad. Get over here. No, no. I'm trolling now, dude. <laughs> Oh, I'm trolling now. This guy's right here. Bro! 
I can't get it. I'm trying my best. Oh, teammate's gonna get one. All right, well, we all had the same objective. No! I give up. I tried my very best. We're gonna do a second game here. We're gonna jump into a TDM. Maybe I can get an execution there. Good kill. All I wanted was an execution, you weenie butts. That's it. GG's, that was a fast paced game for the type of weapon that's 62 kills. Let's jump into game number two. Gameplay number two is over here on Dome, and I've decided to check on the Swarm. It's been a season, basically a full, almost two seasons since I've run the Swarm. And I think it's time. Oh yeah, Kobe. Kobe. Oh my God, that's a mic. Listen, I was gonna keep it unmuted, get some rage reactions or something, but that ain't happening. Not with a mic like that. Homie almost deafened me. Want to try the goal of the TDM here is to get that swarm. So we're going to try to do that. We're well on our way. I saw one cross here. I'm going to go out and assume that they rotated all the way around. Well, that's lucky. I slid right under his bullets. Good kill. Hit me with the freaking throwing knife. Tragic Greek tragedy, truly. They're going to keep spawning here, so I got to keep my wits about me. I'm not about. God, you're evasive. I'm reloading. Loading. Jesus. I'm in it. Kinda. I'm pinched at the moment. There's two of them. I'm almost at that that swarm. Okay, this guy's still here. That should help. Okay. Okay. Damn! All right, I'm backing up. They're still there. I want to push forward, but it looks like they're just going to push me, so. Swarm! All right, we got it. Let's hit it. Oh, I miss this streak, but man, it just takes over the map is the thing. Like it makes the games last so quick. Like I remember in Hardpoint when I was running it, man. This would basically end a game on its own. Wait, I can get a nuke here. Possibly. Uh, well, about that nuke, I have no idea where they're at. So regroup with teammates, I guess. If I want it, I gotta be quick. I think that makes me one kill. Yep. I'm not gonna hit the streak. Tossing subtext. Loading. Twenty-nine. I need one kill for a nuke. Yeah. And we got another swarm to wrap up the game. Loading. 
Well, that being said, I should probably hit the nuke because the swarm is going to basically end the game. That's 55 kills right now. I mean, I could get more than that in theory. All righty then. That is 63 kills over in TDM. 64 kills. 65 kills. 66 six kills. 66 kills. Sure.